I'm gonna start this project with an 18 inch wire wreath form and a whole bunch of shopping bags. I am going to go underneath that one and underneath the second one. And I'm gonna poof these up a little bit. Kind of pull it under there just a little bit. I'm gonna poof those. And then I'm gonna take the tails and I'm gonna wrap those underneath this center one, like so, and pull those around here and pull them snug, okay? And then we can trim those off later. And then we're gonna fluff these little poofs out like so. Okay, and like I said, we're gonna trim these off later, but after we have done it. So I'm gonna show you a couple more times. We are going to go under that one. I'll do it this way. And then under this one. And then under that third one just a little bit. And gotta poof this up and pull this one. This one doesn't mat matter if you go under or not, but um, if you go under, you have a little bit more um, to tie over here. And I'm gonna pull these handles right over here and wrap them around so they are really snug. See, okay? And I'm gonna go to work um, doing these all the way around. I have all of the plastic bags tucked into the wreath and I have poofed them all up. This is how the back looks. Um, I'm gonna trim a couple of these um, handles off from the bags. And then I'm gonna take this out and spray paint it black. So there you go. Now we're just going to give this a nice coat of black spray paint. I'm going to um, do a nice light coat and then I'll come back and give it another coat a little later. Now when your wreath is all finished being painted, you can't fluff it anymore. If you go to fluff any of these, you're going to expose the unpainted parts. So keep that in mind. And I um, have my boo words that I painted bright orange that I'm going to add to my wreath. Now, another problem with this is, this <laughs> that you might have with this, is for me who's used to using hot glue all the time, no hot glue because that will just melt these plastic bags. So what I've got to do is decide where these are going and I'm going to use E6000 and um, just attach them with that and let this sit for a while and just um, let these adhere. So I want them where they can touch the most pieces. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a generous amount on the back of my boo. So yeah, you can't use hot glue on this. So you're either gonna to have to use a different adhesive like I am or um, wire your decorations onto it. So here we go with our three boos on our black wreath. And they're bright orange and I'm going to add an orange bow, a bright orange bow down here at the bottom and a couple other things to our wreath before we're finished. But for now, we're just going to let it set and let the adhesive do its work with our boos. And here is our wreath all ready to decorate the front door for Halloween. So here's the sign we're gonna be using today and it's actually a garden steak that we ripped the steak off of and it came from Walmart. So it was $3.64. So you're gonna need a couple pipe cleaners to actually secure your sign into your wreath. So I just take them and I just fold them in half like that. And what I like to use is my staple gun. So I'm just gonna staple three or four times. And now we have our sign that we can secure into our wreath. 
So here we have our 18 inch grapevine wreath and you might notice that it's kind of a different color. So I actually painted this or my younger sister painted this a gray color using just a can of indoor outdoor spray paint. So it is important that it is outdoor spray paint uh, so it doesn't peel off. So now all we have to do is take our pipe cleaners and secure them into our grapevine by feeding them through one side. So you can place your sign anywhere you would like. So if you wanna place it in the middle, you certainly can. If you wanna place it on the left-hand side, you can do that as well. Uh, so whatever suits your fancy is exactly where you can place it. And here's our second. Pull on the sign. So pull those pipe cleaners really tight and secure. Leave about half an inch of a pipe cleaner so it doesn't fall apart. Take the pipe cleaner and poke it back into the wreath and that prevents it from scratching any door. So now it's time to create a bow and I found the perfect ribbon to match and it has these little jack-o'-lantern pumpkins with the black and white stripe. So we are gonna tuck in a little bit of that bright white into this design. So what we're gonna do is create lots and lots of loops. You guys can create them however big you would like, but here we have our first two loops and now's the most important step with bow making. We're gonna twist our ribbon completely around so the back side is facing up but then when we gather that loop together, the pretty side is revealed. So again, twist your ribbon completely backwards and create your loop. So the more loops you have, the more full your bow is going to be. And you don't necessarily always want to have a super full bow. Sometimes having less loops gives you the potential of tucking in some decorative picks, uh, some greenery into the bow and make it look a little bit more incorporated. But today for Halloween, we're going to do a nice and full bow. So we're going to do between four and five loops, about four and a half to five inches across on either side. So that's four. We have four on the other side. Let's just do one more for good measure. So five loops on one side and four on the other. Now we'll just take our scissors and cut off our excess ribbon. And at this point in time, what we can do is attach our tails. So I'm just going to cut a length of our ribbon and have it down below our wreath. And you can cut it however long you would like. So we're going to cut this end now. And here we have our bow. We're just going to take a pipe cleaner and secure our bow by wrapping it around. So you really want to make sure you're pulling your pipe cleaner really tightly so that you don't lose your bow over time. And there we have a nice pretty bow that we can secure into our wreath. Just taking it, feeding it through the pipe cleaners and securing from behind. So putting my hands underneath my grapevine and securing it. Make sure you're twisting it several times, you guys, to make sure it's not loose. And now what we can do is fluff. So we're gonna take our two long tails, pull them down, and then we can start pulling apart our loops on either side to get them to our liking. Here we have some of these bats uh, with some of these long glittery stems, which I think is gonna look really nice on this wreath. So I've just broken down a few sprays of them with their little bats attached, and we're just gonna take them and dip them into our glue skillet. So here's our glue skillet. We're just swirling them around making sure that we applied a generous amount of hot glue. And then what we can do is come back into our wreath and secure them. So as I said before, we added the gray wreath because the sign has gray on it. And I think that really creates a kind of a unique color combo working with the black, the white, and the gray with touches of orange. So I'm gonna take another piece and work it in. And you can add as little or as much as you would like. Keep in mind, it's whatever makes you happy. So there's three pieces, let's work in a couple more. So what I actually did is I just took our stems, pulled them apart like that and broke off each stem. So again, just pull them off, snip them off and you can work them in. And I'll take one final one and tuck it in directly into our bow. And here's how the finished Halloween wreath turned out, you guys. So like I said earlier in the video, the color scheme we went off of is a little bit different and unusual for Halloween. The sign itself has the gray and the grapevine we spray painted gray as well. So the ribbon has little jack-o'-lanterns which matches the sign really nicely with the black and white. Then we came back in with some swirly twigs that are covered in glitter, as well as lots and lots of little black glittered bats. And then we have some of these beaded ornaments, both in black and orange, to finish off our entire design. So not a whole lot of money invested in this. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. This is Nick Kretikos of Nick's Seasonal Decor, and you're watching at Home Talk. Bye, everyone.